Papa Yah. Coming to y'all with a music reaction video. As you can see, Drive Slow Remix, Kanye West, Paul Wall, GLC, T.I., a.k.a. the King of the South. So, Spotlight. I'm going to call it Spotlight. I'm going to shine the spotlight on T.I. Basically, whoever has the best verse to me on a uh, song, or it could be any artist. It doesn't really matter. I'm just picking and choosing from the old school. I don't really deal with the new school too much. I mean, I'm about lyricism, uh, delivery, flow. Tell me a story. And a lot of these new niggas is not doing that. So I guess everything is just about making a hit, and that's not even my style. Whatever, but if that's your style, that's cool. I'm not knocking it, but this is me. This is my style. So um, T.I., he comes in, he's killing. He grabs your attention. He got the delivery, got the flow, the lyricism. Dope. I think he's underappreciated, to be honest. I'm not taking, I'm not taking nothing from Kanye West, Paul Wall, and GLC. They verses were all dope, like really dope. The production, amazing. Ah, this is dope. And um, I like how everybody's moving at their uh, own pace and talk about their own, talk about themselves and how they got to where they at. In their own version. Kanye West did it. Paul Wall did it. GLC did it. T.I. just really got my attention. So that's why I'm giving him the spotlight. Let's get it. Looking at life through my rear view. All the problems I had could be seen a lot clear at the time it passed. Known for living so fast. They wonder how I don't cry. With 220 on the dash and he constantly mashing. Why don't he slow down? They be constantly asking. But me in the fast lanes like metal and magnets. Now I ain't trying to say that this the way of the masses. But it's so hard to change. I love this shit with a passion. <laughs> I like how the horns came in like that. Dope. It was dope timing. But basically, he's talking about how he came in to, you know, talk about his life. If you pay attention, he's telling you what he used to do before he started rapping. He probably didn't catch that. But I just like how he started off his, his verse. Basically saying he was looking in the rear view while going forward. Basically, he's always looking back to check his progress, see how far he's come. I remember sitting in the car, playing the song. And I was like, damn, 20 seconds ago, I was at that stop sign. Now I'm at this red light. Progress. It could be that deep. <laughs> Yours can go deeper, whatever you want to do it. But just, it's just food for thought. Let's get it. Me and see we couldn't clash showing our ass shooting out in broad day in the middle of traffic. I remember selling crack faster than I could bag it. Just sham a pair with your shout I ain't bragging it. That line, bruh, that line had me gave me goosebumps when I first heard it. I remember selling crack faster than I can bag it. Just share my pass with you, shorty. I ain't bragging. You know what? Quick story. Uh, I used that line to pick up a girl, not the crack line, the pass line. I was uh, talking to this shorty at the mall, and um, I don't even know why I was bragging. She was bad though, but I don't, I don't, I don't usually brag like that. I just talk to them. If I get the number, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But for some reason, I was bragging. But and um, we were talking, so she was like. Damn, you ain't about all that. I know you're lying. I was like, look, shorty, I'm just sharing my past with you, shorty. I ain't bragging. She rolled her eyes and was like, okay, okay, I feel it, I feel it. Got the number. I got the number. It works. I'm telling you, try it. Try it. Trust me, it works. Let's get back into this. Cap got light, mother folk got blasted, had a partner OD, and after this all happens, like the only thing that kept a pimp crying and laughing, and the Lord smiled on me at the end of the madness. I never thought that I'd have made it this far rapping for introducing the youth to what we now call trapping, considered now classic. Did you hear the flow? Did you hear the pain in the voice and everything? Basically talking about he almost gave up. He got the strength from nowhere and got the courage to keep going. Never thought I made it this far rapping. So you look at the progress that he made. I was like, damn, I did that. Now I'm considered a classic. Bruh, 
be legendary at whatever you do. Be legendary. Who to imagine me and Milano getting models the next year's fashion? So nowadays they can call me old fashioned, but it's way too much care to see blue light flashing. So I guess the moral of this here class is life about who make it, not about who make it the fastest. Drive slow, homie. Had to give it to the king for the first spotlight video. You know what it is. Let's get it.